What's going on everybody? Appreciate y'all for tuning back in. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Air Jordan 37. Before we get into the actual review, I want to take you guys on a quick timeline history of me and Jordans. It's an up and down shoe brand for me. The Jordan 34s, right? Those were predicated and highly thought of and like, damn, those are really comfortable. You see Melo always wearing them and whatnot. So I went and copped them. I did not like them. I thought they were really bad. The cushioning set was really bad. The traction was really bad. And then the 35 came out probably like a year later after that. So guess what I did? Skip right past that. I ain't worried about it at all. And the 36 came out. And I was very hesitant to get the 36. And so I um, watched other guys' reviews just to see what they say and all that other stuff. And I heard that they had Air Zoom Cushion. And I'm like, that's one of my favorite Nike cushions, or I guess Jordan Cushion too, of all time. And I said, you know what? I got to try it out. And I'm glad that I tried it out because the 36s were really good. I'm hoping that this 37 is going to be good. Starting us off, we talk about the sizing and the pricing. And the sizing, I recommend you guys go your true to size. If you have, it's gonna sound weird, normal feet. But if you have wide feet, I would tell you guys go up a whole size because it is, I'm not gonna say cage, but it is um, narrow here. If you have normal feet, I guess, you just go your natural size. You don't hit the toe box here, it's all good. And the pricing is gonna be $185. And when you hear that, the shoe needs to be a banger. Moving on to the style of the shoe, and I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now, it reminds me of like a royal colorway. Um, almost, I might be far fetched when I say it's like a Louisiana type of colorway from the little yellowish, but it looks gold here, the white, purple, red. Um, I, I don't know, it gives me like a very royal type of colorway. First thing I noticed when I seen this, I was like, okay, they taking it back, back into the old days. Cause you see from this coloring area and this, it took me to the Marvin Martians. And those are one of my favorite Jordans. I would never ever hoop in those, but those still are one of my favorite aesthetic Jordans. I'm not a fan of this part because you can see the socks in the shoe, which is, I guess, kind of cool, but it just lets me know it's not enough security because somebody step on your foot they stepping on your foot like they're stepping on your toe i'm pretty sure yeah you can see my fingers so that lets me know man if somebody step on your foot if you go to the lane and whatnot it's gonna hurt because it's nothing there to protect it it's cool that it's breathable but it could have been breathable with you know something protecting my foot but other than that the style is okay and the colorway does grow on you next up we have my favorite category which is the cushion and i'm giving it an 8 out of 10. they use a formula i said formula they use a cushion called jordan formula 23 and it's officially theirs and it's not bad nice responsive it's solid um i didn't really have too much complaints when i was wearing it you know dunking shooting around and stuff like that at first though i'm not gonna lie at first when i put my foot in this shoe i was like damn this shit hard as hell but it wasn't the shoe itself. said it was this part here i would prefer they did not put this on here but listen to that this does not need to be that hard it does not need to be that hard and it does not need to be that heavy when you do that you kind of get in the way of a player like i'm a lighter type of player so having this on my feet and jumping having a heavy shoe with my type of springs it just does not work i need something that's like light or midway you feel me but other than that the jordan formula 23 cushion is actually really nice i'm not gonna lie to you but other than that it is nice soft and responsive it is um depending a little low for my liking but i can still hoop it and i can still play in it so i'm not mad at it. jordan formula 23 is solid moving on we have the support and i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. now the achilles heel padding is actually nice and solid not gonna lie the ankle bone padding and yeah, this is where we got to talk about it i'm not gonna say it's non-existent because if you guys can see that it is padding there but it's not like around the ankle bone you feel me it's just like on this part on the right side and this part on the left side and I don't like how flimsy this is. This reminds me of like the Curry 8s. I don't like stuff like this flimsy because if I sprain my ankle, it's just, it's not gonna be able to support it and hold it back from going even further than where it should. So I'm not really a fan of that. And the padding in the tongue is okay. Since it is a mid-top shoe, you do get that nice ankle security feeling. I just don't think you get the actual protection from an ankle sprain. Um, so I would tell you guys furthermore and any other shoe companies, we don't need stuff flimsy. It's enough hoopers out here getting ankle sprains and stuff. And those are one of the worst, most common injuries. And last on the list, we have the traction and I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10, man. That's just really disappointing to hear. Now the traction pattern colorway is fire but the traction pattern itself, I knew it wouldn't be good. And honestly, this is where Jordan to me really lacks in a shoe brand, they lack in the traction. Um, cushion sometimes is there, style is, is there sometimes, it's Jordan, they have the style, support sometimes is there, but traction, they, they be missing sometimes. I don't know why they be making like stuff fall. I don't know, I don't even know what they call this traction pattern. They need to just start making it 
I don't know, man. Y'all need to just start looking at somebody else's traction and be like, all right, let's take a little bit of advice from there. Because in this, you just slide out a lot. It attracts a lot of dust. You don't hear any squeaks. And if you're thinking about hooping with these outside, which I hope none of y'all would ever do, I would tell you, do not waste your time. If it can, if it attracts dust and it's not good on the inside court, then what you think gonna happen outside with dirt and debris and everything else? So I would tell you, do not waste your time on that. Wrapping it all up with the ranking of the shoe, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, at first I was thinking maybe I could be generous and give it a B, but we don't do that here. We don't cap. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm gonna give it a C rank. I was almost going to a C minus, so same one of those to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna put both on the screen. It's just not a good shoe, and I kind of knew that going into it. Um, like I tell you guys, that's why I said earlier, Jordan usually has like a hit or miss. They hit one year, maybe two years, and the next one they just, just flop. And I just, this shoe is not good. The traction is not good at all, so you're not gonna be able to play how you play. The support, you kind of might be worrying about the little flimsy part. So if you sprain your ankle, which I hope no, no one does, it's, it's not gonna go good. The cushion is the best part about the shoe. It's really solid and nice. And the style of the shoe is okay-ish, but for that reason, the shoe is definitely a C, C minus. That's the second lowest shoe that I've had on this. I think, I can't remember too much. I know the Nike GT Jump, I'm still on the Jump. It's, it's the worst one I played in, but this one, it, it's it's close. Now the Jordan Zoom Separate was, wasn't that good either. And since there's no sense to me to make a comparison video between the 37 and 36, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, the 36 is way, better than the 37 it kills it in style support cushion and traction so i would tell you guys if you are thinking of getting the 37 i mean it's from the bottom of my heart do not waste your time there's other shoes that you guys can get that i've reviewed that i think are a lot better than this now if you still want to try it and you do reviews yourself go for it it's always man i appreciate you guys for tuning back in if you do like comment subscribe you know talk to me man i enjoy talking to you guys all the time your feedback positivity negativity your thoughts whatever it is you know hit me down in the comment section below and we can talk about it but other than that i'm gonna go ahead out this thing i'm gonna have chauncey send us out i'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Oh, the next review is the luca one i forgot to tell you all that so expect that um i hope that thing better too because man you <laughs> trash jordan 37. Yeah, anything you want to add to it chauncey what? Is that your end intro? Yeah, just the end intro. You guys Thank you for guys watching today's video. See you next next in today's video. Bye. <laughs>